many of you um, have read The Perks of Being a Wallflower or know about it or anything? <laughs> okay, for those of you who don't know about it, um, it's pretty much a book um, for, well, it was written for adults, but the message was for adolescents. And it has like a bunch of themes in it that you can take from the book. But I personally chose to focus on the title, um, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, like what are the benefits of being like invisible or not noticed or whatever. So I chose to do narrative criticism um, and some questions that I focus on were pretty much like narrative fidelity, like how real is the story to our lives and how can we relate to the character um, in the book. And um, I thought that the character was very relatable in the book. It's like he was speaking to you or he was writing his letters to you. And then I also noticed like a lot of symbolism in the book. And one thing that I did notice was like tunnels. And the main character goes through a tunnel three times in the book. The first two times he feels like really happy. And then the third time he feels like a little off, like a little sad because he's not with his best friends. And then I got the idea to research tunnels, like what, what's the meaning of tunnels? Like why did the author, you know, make this really important in his book? And then when researching tunnels, I realized that like they're a passage, like you're going through something, like they mean something, like they're an end to a means. So that led me to um, think like the main character pretty much went from being like a wallflower to like really popular, well known or like a loner to a loyal friend, or even like from childhood to adulthood. Um, so that's what I portrayed the author to be, like making tunnels um, to me. Also, um, I noticed like the title makes it seem like, okay, you're happy, there's some benefits to like being invisible. And like, I don't think anyone like feels happy being invisible. So um, I researched that and I'm like, okay, what exactly are the perks of you know, being a wallflower, and I came to the conclusion that there's no benefits, there's no perks of, of being a wallflower. So I found that the title could have been like changed, like it was an error, it didn't really make sense. But like for narrative fidelity, I found out that um, the story was relatable, the author of the book connected the character to real places, um, within the book which made you seem like, oh, I could go to these places, I could visit these places, like they actually exist. So um, that's what I found in my research.